Griffith is leading an international project which is looking at all the southern humpback whale populations and how they're responding to the impacts that climate change are bringing to the oceans and, and to their behaviour. So Stellenbosch University is interested in looking at the biogeochemical parameters, especially nutrients and trace metals that ultimately control productivity in the ocean because productivity means that's the food for the whales. It's a global initiative and we're bringing together all these different research teams looking at um, different components that are really important for us to understand the movement of the whales. When we look at Australia or South Africa or South America, these are the migration and breeding grounds. And so in those areas, we're looking at the constant movement of these whales. We already have some indications that they are changing. One of the things our research is trying to understand is how climate change will affect what we call the, the biogeochemistry of the oceans that regulates the productivity of the food chain. We're also trying to understand how climate change will affect the ocean currents themselves. And we're trying to understand how the whale behaviour, those seasonal movements and their feeding patterns and their breeding patterns is related to all those factors. The whales, I think, are actually a very good indicator of, of changes in the environment. They respond quite fast and quickly because they detect these changes rapidly and they, they also make conscious decisions about where they're going to go and what they're going to do. Climate change and global warming is actually driving really major changes in everything about the ocean and ocean productivity and ocean currents and ocean chemistry. And this affects all life in the ocean. You know including whales. Most important, this is about you know protecting these animals and while we have been talking about humpback whales being a great example of uh, successful marine conservation, um, they are not saved yet. We are actually looking at a rather unstable population so what we want to do with the modeling is to show what what can actually happen if we add climate change as a variable to to this population. Very important for the protection of these animals in the future because we really don't know how badly climate change will impact the humpback whales at the moment. <laughs>